Um, okay, two cha common challenges faced by the European colonizing powers. After, this is what we described a little before. They have to sec uh, secure a supply of labor and establish a system of social control. That's the two key tasks, right? Once they come, they've got to colonize. Here's where the English differ from all the other European colonizing powers. That's why it's different in Spain or Portugal. In both those respects, the Anglo-American plantation bourgeoisie differs from the other. Sean? Spain and Portugal had no surplus laboring population. They came as conquistadores, right? But, but the population density in Peru and Mexico afforded them a supply of labor. When the Caribbean peoples were exterminated and when enslavement of Brazilians um, proved you know, not workable because they had a great continental expanse to free, uh, flee to, they turned to African laborers for plantation. France tried to send some, Europe, some French workers for a while called engagés, but it, it didn't work. They were high wages. And on these islands, again, you can't compete with the big plantations, right? And come back. And it was also on the supply route. Um, Santo Domingo, Haiti, Dominican Republic, was on the supply route direct from Africa, the way the, the currents came and stuff. Sean, come on. Holland was major, major, had major involvement in the trade of African laborers, right? But it had no surplus labor for export. So its main role was supplying plantation labor from Africa. 